Hi there, this is Ranjit and this is going to be a different kind of a video. Here we'll talk about AMD business series of laptops and guys, I actually have three of them. This is from Lenovo, that's the ThinkPad uh, series. Uh, then I also have a high-end ultralight uh, one from HP that is known as the ProBook. And uh, we also have one more, same from HP, but again, as you can see, uh, this is in a very different form factor. In fact, I have made my notes on this one. And guys, before we proceed, I want to make it very clear that this video is being sponsored by AMD India. And thanks to them, I'm able to make this video because of the input that they have uh, given. And uh, these laptops are actually a little bit different compared to normal consumer laptops. Actually, these are designed for businesses and enterprises. Uh, you might ask, why are they called business laptops and how are they different from regular laptops that we get? Uh, these also run on the AMD uh, Ryzen 4000 series that we have seen in the consumer, but these are actually different chips. And if you notice, uh, these come with the AMD Ryzen Pro chips as you see from this uh, screenshot. And uh, these chips are a little bit different because in businesses, uh, 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 the requirements are a little bit different. Uh, for example, security is a very important concern for businesses. Uh, so these AMD, uh, what do you say, chips, actually AMD calls this the AMD Pro Security. They have multiple layers uh, on the hardware that is chip itself to ensure security. For example, as you can see from the screenshot, uh, they have this uh, thing called AMD Memory Guard which actually actually offers full memory encryption for example if you notice let's say this is the laptop you are having uh, you casually are just working on it and uh, as you can see I logged in uh, I'll show you these laptops later on uh, but uh, if you just put it like this right now the laptop is in speed and your data for example it might be your authentication data or the apps and stuff that you're working that would be in memory in general regular laptop this is actually not encrypted but uh, because of this pro series processors actually that data is also encrypted and this is actually very important for corporate users uh, there might be projects on which your company might be working for a couple of years and again uh, with corporates and stuff they are in big teams so many people might be using it and the security is very very important even let's say uh, if the laptop is stored uh, the data on that shouldn't be retrievable. So again, it even offers this uh, memory protection by encrypting the same as you can see from these screenshots. And AMD calls this the AMD uh, Pro Security. Uh, it also has hardware level root security. Uh, security, uh, it has to have a lot of layers. For example, if you are making a secure laptop, yes, AMD provides that security at the chip level. Uh, but again, they all also have to actually work with these OEMs like what do you say, uh, this is Lenovo, this is HP, etc. to have security even at the hardware level. Uh, for example, all these uh, laptops have biometric security. Again, that is also secure. And they also work with the operating system level. So again, as you can see from the screenshot, it has multiple layers of security because security, as I've told you, is very, very important. Again, as you can see from the screenshot, uh, again, they work with different OEMs. As you can see for HP, uh, as uh, I've told you, it has the HP Secure Boot, HP Assure Check, and again, in special chips. Again, that's the same thing even with this Lenovo laptop. So they work both uh, at the what do you say hardware level uh, with the OEMs to make these very secure laptops. Also, uh, another thing that is important for businesses is uh, again, this is not an uh, important thing if you are just a consumer, you are the user, and any troubleshooting, etc., you might do it. But let's say it's an organization, big organization, they have let's say a deployment of 800, 900 laptops, and they, they have a specific software or something. Let's say uh, they found a security vulnerability or something and they have to immediately patch it. It's not possible for them to just go to every computer, their IT guy and patch it. So remote, uh, what do you say, logging in is very important. And again, AMD also offers this AMD Pro manageability. Uh, so again, that not only offers what do you say, uh, imaging and what do you say, patches and stuff, but uh, actually, even if your operating system is not bootable, uh, the IT staff can actually uh, log in and fix it and it, it, they can even re-image the operating system. So again, these sort of remote, uh, what do you say, uh, accessibility management is very important for big organizations and these uh, pro series of laptops do offer actually that and uh, also these are again business ready solution as you can see from these uh, screenshot uh, what does this mean the first it says business ready it also has enterprise uh, 
great, uh, what do you say, uh, reliability. That means these all these laptops are designed to run 24 by 7 reliability. So you can power them on continuously and work and then also they'll work. And all these uh, chips actually have three year warranty. So these are some of the th unique things that are offered for this pro series and uh, again you might be uh, asking uh, in what flavors do we get as you can see from this uh, screenshot uh, it's uh, the latest ones are the amd ryzen 4000 series for these uh, business laptops and these are based on that 7 in, uh, nanometer process and with that 15 watt tdp again if you uh, guys recall i had tested some consumer uh, these laptops with amd 4000 series of uh, processors that's the 4500u and 7, uh, 4700u and they had incredible battery life because of the 10 nanometer process that's the same case even with this one but uh, as these are pro series processors they, these are slightly different in fact all these processors are enabled with simultaneous multi-threading and on the high-end ones that i have actually it's eight core 16 uh, thread processor that we are having in fact it's available in these three uh, variants uh, as you can see the amd ryzen 7 pro amd ryzen 5 pro and on the budget range AMD Ryzen 3 Pro. But now you might ask how do these AMD processors compare to the Intel counterparts? Generally you could say the Ryzen 7 could be compared to the Core i7, the Ryzen 5 to the Core i5 and the uh, Ryzen 3 to the Intel Core i3. And here are some of the laptops. So let's have a closer look at these laptops now. So guys, here are the laptops. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad and we have the two HP laptops. We'll have a look at this one first because uh, you know the ThinkPad is a legendary laptop. And uh, again, you, we have seen this with a lot of business executives. Uh, so we have this. This is the X13 uh, model that uh, we are having. And all of the laptops that I have are the high-end uh, models, guys, uh, with the uh, high-end Ryzen uh, 7 Pro, as we were talking, uh, uh, that's the 4750U processor that we are having. And as you can see, uh, this has the legendary, uh, what do you say, keyboard. It's very good. We also have this thumb. Uh, and a proper trackpad and stuff uh, this is not a truly com a convertible but can go up to this angle and if you notice the viewing angles are purposely kept if you just move it a little bit it fades away and this is again for security reasons guys let's say you're working outside somebody who is even sitting on the side for him the screen will be hardly visible so these are some of the things that are done build quality is really good on this uh, laptop and i actually uh, i'm gonna, just going to show you uh, this one you know with cpuz because the other two are also having the same exact processor again guys this is a laptop so you can configure uh, with even the ryzen 5 uh, pro etc uh, so what i'll do is i'll leave the link in the description for all these ones and as you can see uh, here clearly it says if i zoom in let me zoom in uh, it clearly says that uh, this is having that AMD Ryzen 7 Pro uh, processor uh, that's based on 7 uh, nanometer process and it's 8 core 16 thread that we are having that's the 4750U that we are having. This specific variant is having 16 gigabytes of RAM again it's configurable to 8 etc. Uh, so that's what we have and let me just zoom out and the graphics is internal AMD uh, Radeon. I also ran some benchmarks so that you could get a brief idea and I ran the popular Cinebench uh, uh, what do you say R20 and as you can see we got a score of uh, 2858 which is actually pretty good for Cinebench R20. You can download the Cinebench R20 on your laptop and run it uh, so that gives you an idea. I also run the latest uh, Cinebench R23. This is the latest one and here we got a very impressive score of 7000 137 on this one so again to give you an idea this is a very powerful uh, laptop i also ran geekbench 5 so here are the scores single core is 1140 and multi-core we got a score of 5553 so these are the scores and very good again this is uh, sort of a top high-end uh, laptop it has ssd and everything and again guys as these are business uh, laptops uh, again the build quality is really good uh, i would call this a thin and light and again all these are business laptops so it comes with windows 10 uh, pro professional pre-installed and all of them have uh, authentication and in fact actually has two types of authentication windows hello is there and even a fingerprint uh, scanner as you can see it's over here i'll just use the fingerprint scanner but windows hello is also, is also there because these are business centric uh, laptops uh, so very good uh, laptop i would say and again we know this uh, thinkpad series uh, is uh, used 
a lot with business users so that we have in this compact form factor uh, next if we look at uh, this is the HP Pro Book uh, 635 Aero and uh, this has to be a very very light laptop it says the Pro Book and you can actually configure this laptop to be as low as in weight to just one kilogram uh, again we have the high-end uh, spec uh, version of this one again has a good keyboard a good trackpad again it's known as the pro book and this one also if you notice has a fingerprint uh, scanner again protected by hp sure start as i've told you these are business centric laptops and if you are uh, noticed actually uh, the login was done via the ir camera on uh, this one uh, it has the IR camera as well as the fingerprint scanner just like the Leno one but one thing to note is that it has the same processor so in terms of benchmark it's going to be very similar uh, but the thing is that if you notice uh, the ports you have two USB ports one uh, headphone jack over here uh, but uh, if you notice we have a full HDMI uh, uh, what, what do you say port and a USB type C port but we also have a sim slot on this specific variant again this is a business centric uh, laptop so uh, it has 4g lte support uh, so that way it, it is a very different and again the big uh, uh, pro of this one is the weight uh, for business executives uh, who require the least weight and the most power this is the one for but again this is a little bit on the pricey side uh, so i'll just keep this one to the side and uh, this is also uh, from hp if you notice and this is also known as the pro book but uh, this is the 360 degree uh, model again uh, it's slightly bigger and slightly on the heavier side has the same uh, uh, processor that's the amd s uh, ryzen 7 pro again you can configure it and uh, i'm just going to use the fingerprint but this one also has that windows ir and if you notice it just logged down. i was just using this document i'll just minimize and all of these uh, laptops actually come pre-installed with uh microsoft office and uh, windows 10 pro uh this one if you notice the screen is a little bit different on this one actually this one is having a glossy type screen so again if you move this side it will not fade uh, that was not the case with the others uh, for the Lenovo as you just saw so again uh, this one uh, the big uh, difference of this one is that uh, this is a 360 for example you can use it like a regular laptop but you can just fold it like this and use it in the tablet mode also or in the tent mode like I was using when we were shooting the video like this and again this is a touch screen and uh, this one actually comes with a proper pen so you have that stylus support also on this one so these are some of the different variants of uh, these laptops that you are getting uh, with, with this amd business centric uh, laptops again all of them are very good but again each has its strengths and weaknesses as you saw uh, the, but the big thing is that all of these laptops have incredible battery life amd is claiming closer to about 17 hours of battery life but realistically you can get anywhere from 10 to 12 hours and that is actually really good and that's thanks to the uh, processor that's based on the 7 nanometer process so again these were the three laptops uh, that i had and overall these are really good what i'll do is i'll leave the link of all these laptops in the description so that you can check it out so guys that's it for now for this video i know this was a very different kind of a video but i hope uh, you found some information useful uh, so guys uh, do let me know what do you feel about the same anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching and if you guys are still not subscribed to the youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys